Hey Cancer, this is Ascended Twin 144K. I'm here to do your general collective energy read for Sun, Moon, Rising, Mercury, Venus, North Node, South Node, and Stellium. This is not going to resonate for every Cancerian, but it will for some. The energies can be fluid, so this could be past, present, or future energies. The energies can be you or your person, you versus them, same-sex relationships, divine counterparts, because the energies can be reversed, the roles can be reversed. Also, family, if you were guided to my channel, you clicked on a video, it was time for you to receive that message. If for any reason that it does not resonate with you, come back at a later date, maybe I'll have something that will. But if you recognize that story as someone else's and it's not your own, send them here so they can receive the messages, fam. Thank you to everyone who has continued to subscribe to my channel. Old and new, for everybody that has come to the channel, thank you so much. God bless you on your journeys and thank you for sharing it with me. Also, family, um, if this does not resonate with your moons, your sun sign, check your moon, your rising, your Mercury, Venus, North Node, South Node, and Stellium. Um, also, I'm working with Vedic Astrology here too. So if this does not resonate with your um, Western astrology, try your Vedic or sidereal astrology, okay? So without further saying, family, I hope and pray everybody is doing well. How is everyone today or tonight, wherever we are in the world? I am doing something a little different here. I don't know, but I was guided to. So... Let's see, this is what came out of my little homemade deck. Somebody could have the initials TJ, TI, EJ, KT, KJ. Somebody could be on a private jet at this present time. Somebody famous could be on a jet at this at this present time. I know this could be a little crazy, but somebody's name could be Rick that could be on a private jet at this present time. Um, I'm trying to see what else I can get out of this. This could be somebody that's a tech giant, somebody famous in the world of technology. Somebody's name, initials could be JR. This person could be a junior or a JR. I also get ET, something extraterrestrial too. I also, somebody may own a kite or someone's child likes to fly a kite and they could have the initials JR or they could be a junior. Okay, let's slide this to the side. I, I don't know what that's about, but um, I follow what spirit guides me to do. So um, family, I pray that y'all have been exercising, getting plenty of rest, getting uh, good optimal health going. You're doing your daily prayers, your meditations, your affirmations, <clears throat> and enjoying yourselves. Here you are. Some of you are going through a process where you're needing to free yourselves in order for your ships to come in. Some of you may be hiding your emotions um, towards the fire sign, an Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Maybe somebody you want to reconcile with, move forward with, or um, you've been in a third party situation with. There's some type of karma here too. Somebody had a choice to make. And somebody, I have the Six of Swords twice showing up in my face. 
So maybe you and your person could have parted company and went separate ways. Yeah, I've got um, the Two of Swords. Somebody could have been very indecisive about a choice that was needed to make between two places, two people, two things. So what's going on with you, Cancer? So here you are, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. This is your energy, Cancer specifically. Some of you are very indecisive. Some of you are juggling back and forth. Somebody you're dealing with is a snake. You could be dealing with an earth sign, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo. And this is involving love, family. Somebody had a choice to make. Either you did or your person did. Some of y'all could be dealing with a Gemini. Some of y'all could have earth and air in your chart. Either you or your person or both. But somebody may have cheated on someone in a situation. If this wasn't you, Cancer, then your person cheated on you. And somebody is finding out somebody is a snake and they're juggling. You have the world first card out. So there's a cycle that's being completed here. Um, and somebody is, you are in your energy, Cancer. God, dog a bear, boy. You are moving forward victoriously. You are coming out of some level of lies, deception, some type of betrayal. Could have been with a Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Doesn't have to be. There's some type of legal justice, karmic justice here that's being served. Um, I feel like for some of you, the scales have are being balanced or have been balanced or will be balanced. Some of y'all could be dealing with a, a Libra or have Libra in your chart, but you are definitely moving forward victoriously. You're moving at a swift pace too. Some of you could have gained the courage and strength in a situation where there was a lot of hurt, a lot of fear, a lot of worry, a lot of stress, anxiety of dealing with this snake. Some of you could have got stabbed in the heart. This person hurt you to the core and you're trying to move away from this. Either you, Cancer, or your person could be dealing with a Leo or a Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Slide these out of the way, fam, right quick. All right, let's get to it. Yeah, there's some level of judgment that's going on here. So, Cancer, either you have gone through some level of karmic judgment, some type of um, legal judgment, or some type of reconciliation. Somebody could possibly want to raise something here from the dead with a cancer or a cancer wants to do it with you, but somebody could be holding back in a situation. There could be another person involved. Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo. Mm, I didn't even get it out good. We got the three of cups sitting at the bottom of the deck. So somebody might be wanting to uh, reconcile, but somebody is holding back and somebody is holding on. There could be um, the reason why the other person may be holding back a Capricorn Taurus Virgo is because there could be a potential third party here. So it could be another water sign involved in this situation. This cycle is ending for a King of Pentacles, possibly a Capricorn, somebody that is very stable financially focused on their money. And their money is on my mind and my mind is on my money is what I'm hearing. This person could be married or in a long-term committed relationship, does not have to be. Um, somebody could be, um, somebody could have children, don't have to, but somebody has looked up to, people come to this person for wise counsel. Either this is your energy, um, Cancer, where you're heavily focused on your finances, or you're dealing with an earth sign that's focused on their finances. And you may wanna start a new cycle with this person. But somebody might be holding back because maybe there was a third party in the past. We have an offer of love. This is your energy, but somebody doesn't trust it. Either you don't trust it, um, Cancer, or your person doesn't trust it because there might have been some level of deception and betrayal that caused maybe a water sign like yourself to walk away, a Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, or this is you offering love to somebody, or either somebody is offering love to you. But there's been some level of betrayal and there was a tower moment that came behind it. 
Aries Scorpio energy. So some of y'all may be dealing with a or dealt with an Aries or a Scorpio. There's the third party. It came back out. So somebody is going through some level of legal justice and karmic justice for having a third party situation. Somebody had a choice to make. Somebody was operating out of pride and ego. This could have been you, um, Cancer. Or this could have been another water sign or a fire sign. But somebody was operating heavily out of pride and ego. Somebody may have forgotten to uh, mention that maybe they were in a marriage with a Leo. Somebody could have gave somebody the impression that they were single, but they weren't. And this could have left somebody, a woman or a man, doesn't make a difference. This could be a woman that gave somebody the impression that they were single. But this person was already in a long-term committed relationship, possibly a marriage for some of you. Some of you, you have financial ties to a Leo. It could be almost any sign here. Maybe an earth sign. Some of you may have uh, ties to an earth sign. But somebody was left alone in love, male or female. Somebody had a lot of love to give, but somebody wasn't interested in love. Somebody was interested in show me the money. I'm hearing, I want my money. Where is my money? And I want it now. Somebody may have gotten the truth about somebody being involved in a marriage, a long-term commitment, and this could have caused a lot of heartbreak. Somebody could have suffered a nervous breakdown down there behind this shit. Um, the exposure to the truth was very illuminating, hurtful, but very illuminating, but it brought a lot of clarity to a situation and it also brought victory. It allowed somebody to go through the process of starting to heal. There could be a Gemini, Libra, Aquarius here, a Sagittarius uh, specifically, or either Archangel Michael is assisting to help either you or your person to heal from some type of betrayal. What else, Spirit, do you have for my Cancerians? Yeah, somebody could have been trying to hide that they're going through some type of karma, some type of judgment. Um, there could be a breakup, an ending, a dissolution of a marriage or a long-term uh, relationship where there is money, money ties here is what I'm seeing. Somebody could have been uh, very manipulative. Somebody could have been hiding a whole nother person. Person, There could have been a lot of secrets here. Somebody needed to use their intuition, Pisces, Cancer, energy. So if this wasn't you, Cancer, then this was your person. Mm-hmm. Yep. There are secrets here. A lot of secrets. There could be another water sign here that's keeping secrets, hiding somebody else from you. And this is putting somebody on the defense. Somebody could be very argumentative, very aggressive. Could be a fire sign, an Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. We have the lovers here. The two, well, the two of cups, I'm sorry. This is soulmate energy. So some of you could have... Um, Somebody may want to come in and give a soulmate an offer of love. Somebody is recognizing someone as their soulmate. And this person realizes that they hurt a soulmate, possibly a Leo in particular. This person may have looked at this person as not um, an equal or worthy to be with them, either you or them. I got an emperor in the reverse. Well, I'll be damned. So there could have been an uh, emperor that was very childish, very immature, very uh, controlling, very manipulative. And here you are at the bottom of the deck, Cancer. I could have an Aries or a Taurus that is trying to control the outcome in a love relationship, a love situation, because there's more than two people involved. And you need at least four wheels in order for this car to drive, is what I just heard. Four wheels and a steering wheel. So if not, somebody has lost control of a situation. Yeah, because somebody had a choice to make. Could have been an Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. 
but somebody was operating out of pride and ego and I got death up underneath the Ten of Pentacles. So something definitely came to an end here because somebody was working out of ego. Somebody was an attention whore. If this wasn't you, Cancer, then this could have been a Scorpio, a Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, a Taurus, a Pisces, Cancer like yourself. The devil, the devil. So there is some level of toxicity, some level of codependency here that needs to be broken. Yeah, the six of wands flipped over. So somebody was purely operating out of pride, ego, um, some type of addiction here. I feel like for some of you, this is um, somebody that drinks too much, um, overindulges. Somebody that um, may like to have multiple partners here for some of you. And somebody is just tired of being in the head. Head games. Too many head games. Somebody is just constantly like on PTSD level about somebody here in stepping outside of the marriage, stepping outside of the relationship. We got somebody that's very uh, codependent, very toxic, very addictive. And somebody could be feeling bound and chained to somebody. You don't like them, but you're still there. And you don't understand why you're still there. But whoever you are, if this is not you, Cancer, some of you could be dealing with a Capricorn that has you bound and chained. Um, you, you guys share some kind of karmic lesson here. Some of y'all could share the same addictions, the same toxicity, the same codependencies, and this is what's binding you together. It's not love, because I ain't got no damn love out of here. It's like I can Tina, what love got to do with it? Mm. I ain't got but a couple of cups of love out here, and this is a tiny offer of love, but somebody is in love with somebody, and it ain't the person that they with. Somebody, I just heard, love the one you with, but somebody is like, I don't think so. I'm not in love with you. And I got the Queen of Cups at the bottom of the deck. Somebody that's very charming, very social, um, very, they can be very emotional. But this person, somebody, either you or an earth sign is walking away from something. Somebody could um, come up as very smooth very uh, suave, smelling real good, looking good, male or female. But this person um, is aggressive. They're smart. They use their intellect to whoop your ass. Either you do this to the other people or other people do this to you. But you're reckless in your behavior. You're reckless in a relationship, a marriage. Some of you could be married to a Taurus. Somebody that could be highly spiritual and or, or religious. And some of you are not. Some of you may be focusing on someone that is very religious or very spiritual. And you may not be cancer. But in any regard, somebody walked away from an opportunity of love. Or somebody wants a second chance in love with someone. But somebody could have retreated from somebody because of betrayal, lies, deception. Somebody is like, nothing defiles the body but the mouth. So somebody is a uh, pathological liar? Well, damn. And somebody retreated. You could have been dealing with a Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, or a Virgo specifically. Somebody that's wise, that has a lot of wisdom. Somebody that there's some type of divine timing at play here also. So somebody needed to take the time to um, go within, gain inner wisdom, clarity, and guidance. I feel like somebody was being guided to their uh, mission, their purpose for some of you. If this isn't you, Cancer, then this is your person. But um, there's some type of di divine timing at play here where somebody needed to temper their um, anger, their hurt, their rage is what I'm hearing. Um, and have patience and heal and balance themselves. Somebody may have become uh, shy of this situation altogether. They may have shied away from it, period. Yeah, there could have been competition here. 
So cancer, either you put somebody else in competition and this created comma drum flick with another person, could have been a fire sign. Either you pitted another, um, oh, there might have been two fire signs. I don't know why, but um, I almost said it. So there's a strong possibility for some of you, there may be two fire signs. One you kept and one you discarded. Or either they did this to you, Cancer. But um, they're definitely, this conflict, competition, and drama um, could have caused somebody to go through a tower moment. Either you or Aries or Scorpio. I got a King of Wands here. Somebody that's very passionate, very charming, very charismatic, but they're also known to be uh, promiscuous. This person could be a misogynist, male or female. Only focused on the money. Whoever this is, your money is growing, though. And you got laser focused on the money. Money on my mind, mind on my money. Could be an earth sign. But I got an Aries, Leo, Sagittarius here, King of Wands. Ooh, I got three tens. This is a wrap. Yeah, there is no action, no communication being taken from either side. I got a Pisces Cancer twice, three times. So some of y'all could have been dealing with multiple water signs like yourself. Some of them could have been Pisces, Cancers like yourself and Scorpios. Fire signs, any sign is here. But whatever this was, um, somebody needed to take some time out to gain a higher perspective in a situation. So um, there could have been a lot of stagnant energy between you and your person because there were a lot of burdens here. Somebody created, um, somebody feeling overwhelmed and stressed in a situation. Yeah, due to a marriage or some type of commitment, some type of contract. There's some type of karma here too, because I got the Lord of Saturn right here. So there's some type of karmic lesson that needs to be learned. What's up underneath this Taurus? Yeah, somebody, uh, was in a relationship by themselves. It was one-sided because somebody placed somebody in a third-party situation. Somebody that uh, maybe uh, got with somebody that they worked with. Um, this left somebody in emotional ruin, devastation, um, feeling very um, hurt, a lot of pain, a lot of regret because somebody chose someone over someone else. Somebody saw that somebody could... Um, give them what they wanted so they freed themselves for this from this situation either you did this cancer or your person did this so their ships could come in somebody manifested this heartbreak to somebody either you did this cancer or your person did it and now somebody is indecisive about an apology somebody could also be decisive about accepting the apology as well family um let's see what comes out Hang on, family. I got some cards that have fallen. And just uh, FYI, family, I do uh, no reversals, but Spirit says, uh, you may think you don't do reversals, but you'll do what I damn tell you to do. So I got uh, reversals have definitely been introduced to my readings. So there is a burden in a cycle where somebody is trying to close a door. I got four tens on the board. So some of y'all could definitely be seeing uh, four tens. Ten ten is definitely something a lot of you could be seeing. Um, somebody, there was a burden where there was an offer or somebody is underneath some type of financial strain where they have more responsibilities than they have finances. Somebody could have talk, taken a loss financially through this cycle and it is kicking somebody's ass could be a water uh, fire sign an aries leo sagittarius some of y'all are dealing with yeah somebody walked away from a one-sided situation because it was nothing but lies and uh deception and betrayal 
We have an uh, empress here at the bottom of the deck. So some of y'all could have walked away to an empress, somebody that had their own place, their own car, their own job, business, um, or either you're leaving someone to go to an empress. Some of y'all may have gotten an empress pregnant. Um, we have justice for a twin flame here also. So some of you definitely are in divine connections here. Um, there could be some karmic justice or some type of legal justice that is going on. Let's see if it goes in your favor. Does this go in the favor legally for cancer spirit? Well, we know that you walk away, you move forward. So clearly there is a victory for you, cancer. Once you complete this cycle, um, once you go through whatever karmic justice or karma, um, that involves an Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, somebody that could have Libra or Gemini, Libra, Aquarius in their chart. If this isn't your person, um, this may be the person that you left for some of you. Yeah, happiness. So some of you um, want happiness. You want the Ten of Pentacles with a Cancer. I mean... With a Leo, this Leo may have cancer in their chart, but this Leo may have double Leo in their chart as well. But somebody sees uh, long-term stability, commitment with a cancer. Someone you feel like you can manifest with. Somebody is no longer in their head trapped and stuck in a situation that there was betrayal involved. Um, this could be a Gemini, Libra, Aquarius strongly because I got air on top of air. So somebody is no longer stressed about whatever this situation was, Cancer. It's either you or your person or both. Yeah, somebody is getting some type of karma, some type of judgment for, um, ooh, yeah, overindulgence. Somebody being selfish, prideful, egotistical. Somebody is getting their karma for um, being a betrayer, a backstabber. It's, this is not you, Cancer. Wow, in a family. I got two tens here. I can't make this shit up. There it is. So somebody is getting some level of karmic justice. Somebody is being served some level of karma for um, betraying someone in a marriage, a long-term commitment. Somebody could be drinking heavily. Somebody could be smoking 10 blunts a damn day. Oh, shit. Yeah, somebody got their shit pre-rolled for some of you. Somebody is coming straight home, pulling that drink out the freezer, and them blunts right out beside it. Some of you like to smoke cigars, or either your person does, but somebody here is definitely smoking and drinking heavily. There's some um, type of betrayal here. Yeah, somebody betrayed somebody. Somebody had, ooh, somebody might have hid some money and lied about money. Somebody could have been stealing money, could have been at work. Oh. Or somebody was stealing money from an earth sign or an earth sign was stealing money from an air sign. Uh, cancer, you may have some people around you that are stealing from you or you stealing from them. Somebody's stealing from somebody. I'm also hearing embezzlement on this one too. Ooh, okay. Yeah. Somebody has stole some type of money, some type of investments. Somebody is, well, somebody could have went, for others of you, I'm seeing that too. Somebody could have went to a planner. Somebody that plans, um, that invests your money and show you how to invest your money. Some of you could be dealing with an earth sign that has air in their chart. And this person is like a financial advisor, a planner. So some of you could have went to a financial planner and advisor and others of you, somebody is uh, robbing somebody and they scared as shit that they're going to get caught because they know what they're doing is deceptive. And here you are at the bottom of the deck. Somebody is having a lot of stressful nights. Somebody got like PTSD. Yeah, we got a king of pentacles here. Somebody that could be a bit controlling like an emperor. And he is catty cornered to the emperor in the reverse. And look who came out right behind them. So some of you could definitely have earth in your chart. 
You could be dealing with um, someone, you could be married, and you could see this person as your divine counterpart. Some of you could be at a distance, potentially, with this divine counterpart. There was an ending here. There could have been some reckless behavior, some type of argument, something that was fated to happen. And there could have been an earth sign that some of y'all were dealing with, and you may have chose this earth sign over your divine counterpart or vice versa. We have um, you coming in with an offer or either a, another water sign that's coming in with an offer of love to you. So for some of you, this could be another uh, water sign, a new person, or either you want a second chance with another water sign. Yes, some of you, you could work with this person. Um, some of you definitely want reconciliation. Um, some of you are willing to put the work in this time in this relationship if this isn't you cancer this is your person yeah some of you it could be a fire sign an aries leo sagittarius but i don't feel like this fire sign trusts you whoever it is for some of you yeah somebody uh needed to tame um themselves from being in an open relationship a third party situation um, being stubborn about possibly reconciling three different options here somebody is no longer in hermit mode could be um, a water sign could be you uh, cancer Pisces cancer Scorpio it could be a Leo it could be a Virgo but somebody has come out of hermit mode somebody could be very defensive standing their ground um, there could be a lot of arguing a lot of fighting possibly in a family um, situation or a home-like environment, a marriage. Yeah, somebody is suppressing their emotions. Somebody could be very angry here. Why are they angry, spirit? Because somebody is a hoe, that's why. Some of y'all are dealing with a hoeish ass. Um, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, doesn't have to be. They could have water and fire and earth in their chart. Some of y'all are dealing with somebody that's juggling their ass. Either you juggling them or they juggling you. And somebody is ready to end this shit. There's a cycle here that's closing out on somebody being a player. Ooh, truth on top of truth. So both of y'all are speaking y'all truth in this situation. Cancer, you're speaking your truth and whoever you're dealing with is speaking theirs too. And somebody is getting to the nitty gritty of it. And this shit is hurting because somebody is fearing. What are they fearing, spirit? They're fearing that somebody is going to choose somebody else over the other. Mm, wow. Yeah. Somebody has got a new opportunity someplace else. Somebody is about to choose somebody else outside of the relationship. It could be an Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo, um, Gemini specifically. Mm, yeah. There's a magician here that keeps a lot of secrets. What else do they keep hidden, spirit? Yeah. Somebody um, doesn't want somebody to know that they manifested a broken heart and there is some karma here that's being paid somebody secretly wants reconciliation for some of you if this is not you cancer then this is your person who is this person spirit i got aries gemini virgo on the magician pisces cancer on the high priestess yeah there's some type of karma here some type of justice here Somebody is getting uh, justice, um, karmic justice. Somebody is going through karma and they don't want you to know about it. Cancer or either you don't. Look at this shit here. High priestess next to high priestess. Some of y'all are definitely dealing with somebody that's highly intuitive. Somebody could be operating in their high priestess mode. Somebody could be keeping secrets. Even their secrets got secrets is what spirit is telling me. But somebody is watching somebody. Either you're doing this, cancer, or somebody you're dealing with got secrets on top of secrets. And this person um, <clears throat> has multiple options. What else, spirit? They could be a water sign like you. Um, somebody is leaving cancer. Yeah, because there's conflict. You could be in an argument with a fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, someone that keeps you in competition with others. And this just is toxic. It's hella toxic. Look at this shit here. It flipped over. It's family. So what we got that flipped over? I'm going to put it back in. There's an offer here. 
but somebody feels like it's not going to be accepted because of the mind games and the fuckery that was played either presently or this could be past energy but there is a wish here somebody wants to renew something with a fire sign could be a leo specifically someone that they see as long-term love commitment wish fulfillment marriage or somebody that you're already married to cancer either this is you or your person yeah there's a new beginning here for soulmates for a divine couple if it's wanted um let's see is it wanted do they want this new start spirit somebody needs to free themselves in order for their ships to come in there could be a lot of options here a lot of confusion somebody may not see somebody for their worth or this may have taken place in the past um, there could be a lot of illusions here. Somebody thinks they got options, but they ain't got nothing but mm, P and P and C. Okay. Yeah, this could definitely be with a past life soulmate, an ex, um, somebody that some of y'all could have been married to, um, you have children with, or a boyfriend, girlfriend. Um, definitely, but somebody needs to free themselves from another soulmate in order for you to get your divine counterpart. Yeah, somebody is out of control here. Um, is this a third party of reconciliation? Somebody could be putting work into wanting to reconcile a situation, but they have a choice to make between them or someone else. And look at here, two of wands, two of wands, boom. Yeah, somebody has a choice between um, their relationship or being single. Somebody may choose to be single here. Um, there's some type of spiritual lesson, some type of contract here. Uh, what is the lesson here, Spirit? Yeah, somebody is about to become single from a marriage that was hella toxic. They felt bound and chained to. Or a spiritual partner that they felt bound and chained to. Anything else? Yeah, somebody sabotaged this. They deliberately tore this relationship up. If you didn't do this, cancer, your person did. Somebody ended something and walked away. This could have been a painful situation. It looks like you're ending something that's painful, Cancer, and it's going to be heartbreaking. This could also, uh, for some of you, um, put somebody on their spiritual path. We got the journey here, so somebody is going towards their spirituality. Something um, maybe where they felt uh, was something that they couldn't control. They felt bound to it. Ooh. Somebody is hiding some secret toxic addictions. Somebody got some toxic addictions that are hella secret. They're keeping the lid on this shit. And it's going to put somebody where somebody feels left out in the cold. Um, what are the addiction spirit? Somebody is secretly offering or having to pay money towards somebody else. What is this? Yeah, somebody regrets not, oh, somebody had addictions, but they regret not giving an offer possibly to an earth sign, a water sign, or a, yeah, Pisces Cancer, or somebody that had Capricorn in their chart. Somebody that they may have been, obs uh, had a secret obsession or a secret addiction to. Maybe uh, Cancer, you were addicted to somebody or somebody was addicted to you, but you didn't give them the offer. And now you regret it or either they regret it. Yeah, there's a nerve sign here. Somebody that you regret not giving it. Ooh, there you go. You didn't give the offer of love to. You see this person is loving, nurturing, um, kind of like a motherly quality. Some of you may even want to get this uh, Queen of Pentacles pregnant. Look at you. See, now you're looking at all you got is your money and you were operating out of pride and ego. Some of y'all got into a toxic situation where you kept... Uh, Somebody then I don't know if this person is an earth sign necessarily, but you kept them a secret and this is who you were giving the offer to and somebody else gained knowledge of it and they ended it. They put it into this shit. That's not for everybody, but that's somebody's specific message. Somebody was hiding that they were seeing somebody could have been somebody they worked with somebody they may have met over drinks, maybe on a night out. 
I'm hearing cigar bar for some of you. Wow. But um, somebody ended up with somebody that was only after your money. And this person could be draining you. And you want to put an end to it. But this person is cold, calculating, and ruthless. Somewhere along the line, somebody going to have to be paid. Somebody wants to be paid to walk away. So somebody could be blackmailing somebody. Yeah, something needs to be healed and balanced. Somebody is trying to offer somebody something. Or either somebody wants somebody to pay them out of the relationship. Well, damn. And this is something that is destined and fated in order for you to go towards your loved one. So somebody is bribing you more or less, Cancer, or either you're bribing them. You're going to have to pay me if you want out of this relationship. Well, I'll be damned. Um, somebody wants to take some level of passion and action and communicate um, an offer of love. Could be to a fire sign that may have water in their chart. But somebody's still unstable here in love, Cancer. Either you are or your person is. Somebody was betrayed and they felt left out in the cold. Somebody could have lost a lot. Somebody could have lost everything because somebody's pride and ego or will lose everything. Somebody may have to move. Somebody might be towing a child behind them in the wintertime and they're going to be forced into a situation where they have to move out. Um, there was stagnant energy here where this person went within because somebody needed to gain their inner wisdom, clarity, and guidance. Somebody was being pulled into their calling, is what I'm hearing with spirit. Somebody needed to go deep within, and it could have been a fire sign that has Pisces or Cancer and Virgo in their chart. Somebody may have not been seeing something clearly about a situation where someone got ghosted, had to uh, go through a lot of stagnant energy where there was no communication, no action being taken by a fire sign. This fight could have broke out for some of y'all at a home. Is this just a home spirit? Somebody could have been in a blind rage and attacked somebody here. Some of y'all could be dealing with a, a fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, that has uh, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, or Scorpio, or Aries in their chart specifically. Somebody is in a blind rage. Somebody might have cut somebody or beat the shit out of somebody. Either you did this, Cancer, or your person did this for some of you. Yeah, there's a, a fire sign that you see as your life partner, your twin. Yeah, this is a... Ooh, we. Yeah, this is somebody that you definitely know is your damn divine counterpart, Cancer. And it's a fire sign. It's a Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Mm-hmm. Possibly Leo to be exact. But somebody is holding back. Maybe somebody's holding back because there is not enough finances here in this situation. Um, somebody may um, be holding on to a situation because of finances. But there's an ending that came here. There is like death to a spiritual marriage. Ooh, shit. Because somebody held on to, to money. It's like money over love. So either you chose money over love, cancer, or your person did. Yeah, somebody um, had time to gain a higher perspective so they could transform and cut something off that was no longer serving them. And now somebody wants to come in, cancer, either you want to come in and offer somebody a cup of love, but there could be a pregnancy or a missed opportunity here. So if y'all not trying to get pregnant, be careful. But there could also be a missed opportunity here for some of you. Yeah, because somebody was too late to take action or communicate. And somebody felt overwhelmed and burdened by all of this. They felt alone in this relationship. If this wasn't you, Cancer, this could be someone for your past. Somebody that you could deal, be dealing with presently. If this is not their energy, then this is your energy, Cancer. This is how you feel. But somebody is spying on somebody here. And a cycle has been completed or about to be. In a long, in a marriage, a relationship where somebody might be in it, holding on to it for finances. 
and possibly because there's a baby here. All right, Cancer. Um, sorry about the scatteredness, but like I said, I have to give messages according to what I get. Um, please like, comment, subscribe, share with your family, friends, and coworkers. You can find me on Instagram as Ascended Twin 144K. There I do angel, oracle, and crystal messages. You can find me uh, waiting to start up a uh, family group chat for Ascended Twin, um, Nikita Kelly on Facebook. And you can find me here on YouTube as Ascended Twin 144K. You take care of yourselves, family, and we'll talk soon. Peace.